Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show, and it's time for your Huddersfield Town versus Leeds United Derby Day preview. Yes, it's that time of year again that Leeds United cross across West Yorkshire to go to the John Smith Stadium and hopefully put the Terriers to the sword, taking another step towards automatic promotion. And who knows if games go our way, another step towards that shiny championship trophy. Now, of course, you have every reason to be confident knowing what Leeds United did to Huddersfield in the reverse fixture. Arguably the worst team to come to Ellen Road. But this is a different Huddersfield town now. They have a new manager in charge. The place is buoyant. They're on a decent run. We're away. It ain't going to be easy. Do I think Leeds United will win? Yes, I do. But it will not be anywhere like it was at Ellen Road, in my opinion. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we score early. I hope we slap them up. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So let's talk about Huddersfield. Championship strugglers. It is what it is. They're 19th in the table. They are struggling. They are in a relegation fight. Do I think they will stay up? Yes, I do. But they are currently in 19th. However, more recently, they did stage a great comeback against Watford to win that game 2-1. And that was actually new coach Andre Breitenreiner's first game. I'm going to call him Andre from now in. I don't want to butcher that German name. Has he got that German mmm which Fark has got? We will wait and see. But his first game in charge brought about some tactical tweaks, a different style of play, made some changes that affected the game and ultimately ended up in three points. And that was actually the first time they've come from behind this season to win a game of football. But that already is a shot in the arm for Huddersfield because the new manager's come in. You know, you can call it a new manager bounce, call it whatever you want, but ultimately there's changes there. So, you know, for them to come from behind for the first time, normally it's a mentality issue, or we never come behind, blah, 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 blah. New managers come in, he's made tactical tweaks to win the game of football. That breeds confidence. And I do just want to hone in on, on Andre for a second, okay? Because he does have a distinct style of play. Daniel Fark has been praising him. And I, you know, having spoke to Huddersfield Town fans, big up to Kossi and He Takes That Chance podcast, they're excited by the football that they're seeing. Of course, they dealt with Darren Moua. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, it wasn't great. Um, now, Huddersfield Towns are actually excited by the football they're seeing on the pitch. He brings an ambitious style of play. He will want to play attacking and attractive football. Best believe they will press us and will press us high. They're going to be on the front foot. They're at home. You know, you would expect that. But even more so under the new new coach. You know, they're going to try create decent attacks and goal-scoring opportunities. Big shout out to Sorba Thomas as well, by the way. He's just had a child miss the last game. I was hoping he was out, but I think he'll be back for this one. He's up there in terms of shot creating actions with the likes of Keenan Dewsbury Hall, Cree Somerville, um, players of that ilk. And and this is a team that are 19th in the league. So him playing under a, this type of coach, he's definitely someone that we need to be wary of on the flanks if it's left or right. And like I said, not just going forward, but out of possession, they're really good as well, or, or will aim to be really good under the new coach, because they're going to press, they're going to be full of running, they're going to try win the ball back as quick as possible, and the Lavades in doing that in midfield with Alex Matos, who they've got on loan from Chelsea, really good player, and Jack Rodoni as well, if he indeed does play in the centre, you've got Bergzog, another one that I want to mention, the only player that actually played well at Ellen Road, but these lads are players that will be able to, you know, adopt to Andre's system like a hand does in a glove so I expect them to be all over us like a rash especially in the early exchanges in summary though Andre Brighton Reiner's style of football basically he believes in balance you know while defending is great he's also going to want to attack and score goals you know um, his philosophy combines attacking intent high pressing and a player centric principle it's going to be a totally different Huddersfield town that we play at the weekend now what I will say I'm actually excited that they're going to have a go of course they can cause us problems Problems, but Leeds United have been imperious in defence, but also attack, you know, scoring goals at will. And if you're going to play that style of play, best believe you need to be 100% on it, because if you are not, Leeds United will punish you. See, for me, as much as I think this game won't be a cakewalk, um, I think it will be a tough game. I could see 2-1 Leeds United. I think it could be that tight. But I'd much prefer Leeds United to be playing a team like this as opposed to, say, Neil Harris's Millwall who were just going to park everyone behind, you know, the ball and, and, and just play that low block and it'll be rock hard for us to break them down. The keeper will waste time, etc. This manager, this Huddersfield Town team, are not going to do that. They're going to press us. They're going to have a go. And like I say, Sorba Thomas, Bergzog, Matos, Rodoni, these are all players that can cause Leeds United problems. And, you know, we need to be on our game and be ready for, you know, a pumped-up Huddersfield Town crowd as well. And it's going to be tough. I'm under no illusions.
Like I said, 2-1 either way. I do think they'll score, not least because we've only kept two clean sheets at the John Smith Stadium in the last nine. And a massive 23 of Huddersfield's 34 league out outings this season, which is 68%, have seen both teams score. And that's a joint highest in the championship. And if we're being honest, if we look at the form as well, you could say that Huddersfield have definitely turned it around. They've only lost twice in their last eight games. So, you know, this is a different Huddersfield town. And I guess... I'm just stressing that fact because having done a bit of research, having looked into the coach, having looked at some of the players that they have, previous managers were playing to the best of their ability. They've got an exciting coach who has decent pedigree. Let's not forget this coach has worked with Willy Nonto at Zurich and won the league with Zurich. He's worked at Hoffenheim with Rutter, so knows our players as well. So he comes with decent pedigree. And I would argue it's a bit of a coup for Huddersfield to get this manager in. So we're not going to see you know, what we've seen Darren Moore try and play a low block and play a low block inefficiently and, it, you know, it had gaping holes in. But look, they are playing Leeds United. And Leeds United are arguably, well, the league table's lying because for me right now, Leeds United are the best team in the division. I've been saying this didn't, since day dot, actually, and I was getting stick for it at the early parts, but we're now in, in gear. Um, we are scoring goals for fun. We hold the joint championship record for nine consecutive wins. We win tomorrow. That's 10. That's a new record. And we have every reason to be confident. We've won our last three matches against Huddersfield and have scored at least two goals in six of our last seven against them. I expect us to, yeah, we'll score multiple goals tomorrow as well. And ultimately, this form that we find ourselves in, folks, has meant that Leeds United have won the last four away games on the spin. Remember when we were worried about that away form? That is non-existent now. Scoring a massive 10 goals. 10 goals in four games, man. And not conceded any. So this is why we pump our chest and say, yes, it'll be tough. Yes, they're reinvigorated. They're in form. They're doing well. But this is Leeds United. This is Leeds United that have clawed back a gap of like 17 points to just six to Leicester City. This is a Leeds United that are cooking on gas that just took Premier League Chelsea to the wire with a B side. Yeah, with a B side we did that. And on that run of nine straight league wins, we've cut that gap to Leicester to six points. And we play at half 12 tomorrow. So if we win this game, we cut that down to three. Now Leicester do play Q QPR. And we'll be doing it on the channel, so make sure you're locked in. We've got a soccer Saturday watch along. A championship watch along extravaganza. Because Leeds United need Leicester to drop points. But can you imagine that pressure? Leeds United put Huddersfield to the sword. Then Leicester, the gap is three. Three points. Man, that smells like promotion. And look, you have every reason to be confident. As I said, this run that we're on is the strongest such run at this level since the championship was rebranded. And as I say, we win tomorrow, we break the record. You know, Southampton can have their undefeated in 22 championship games, whatever it was. They're in fourth, man. We've hit the nail on the head when we needed to. You know, we're ready to go. And I, I, you know, I can't see past another Leeds United win. I do think it'll be KG. And when I say KG, I don't mean like, oh, it's, it's... I just think they'll score and it might be tight. But ultimately, our quality over 90 minutes will prevail. It almost feels to me like they're going to meet fire with fire. But if you're going to do that, you need to have better players. And yes, they have a few key personnel. As I've mentioned, Sauber Thomas, Mattis, Bergzog. But they don't match to ours. They don't match to Rutter, who's fit. Bamford, who's fit. Somerville and Nonto. Gruyev, Kamara. And that's before we even get to the imperious, imperious, unbeatable centre-backs in Ethan Ampadu and Joe Rodon. And then you've got, for me, the next England star boy and Archie Gray at right-back. And if Gruyev don't make it, Archie will go in midfield and Roberts will start at right-back. The depth is there as well. Our bench walks into majority of championship sides, so have every reason to be confident. And as I said, Huddersfield will make it tough for us, but not tough enough. And Leeds United will come through this having another three points on the board. And I have said throughout, I think it'll be 2-1 to Leeds United, but if we score within the first 15 minutes, then it could be a long day for Huddersfield. We've scored early more than any other team this season. We start out of the blocks. We scored at Chelsea, lest we forget, in the early parts, first 10 minutes. So if we do this against Huddersfield, especially when you consider a reverse fixture, they could crumble and they could leave spaces when they do come and have a go because Andre is going to make them want to have a go. If they score first, it could be long, but I think we'll score. And look, 2-1 is my score prediction. I don't want to go you know, too, too heavy, but if we did score within that first 15 minutes, 
then you could be looking at another similar scoreline to the reverse fixture. But listen, three points is all that matters, and Leeds United will get it tomorrow. Make sure you join me on the Watch Along Live from 11.30. There'll be no live post-match after that, because we're going to jump straight on over into the Championship Watch Alongs, and then we'll do our post-match after that at 5 p.m. So make sure you're locked in for you know the channel from half 11 till 6 p.m. tomorrow. We're locked in and loaded. So make sure you subscribe. You've got your notifications on. Smash a like on this video, and of course, get your comments in, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Peace out.